I am sitting with here a man who is not even close to me. He's so far away, Anderson Cooper. Where are you, sir? Uh, I'm in New York. In New York, isn't that wonderful? And aren't you the spirit? Everyone loves you. What makes you so hip and hot? What's your secret, <laughs> sir? <laughs> um, well, I don't know. I, I don't, uh, I don't well, think no, I'm very hip, so... I don't hip, either, because so... I've seen the <laughs> So I'm a little confused. You do a show, you do a show called 360. It's on for 360 minutes. Isn't that a long time to be in the air? <laughs> Actually, it's, uh, the kids call it 360, um, but uh, no, it's only on for an hour every night. And what's it about? Because I, I have tapes, but you know, like, I get so busy. <laughs> He's back. Larger than life. Martin Short. The Simon Cowell for Canada's Got Talent. How dare you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Are you nice in this show? I am myself in this show, whatever that means. Yeah. But uh, I don't think anyone who plays a role of someone is ever going to be as interesting as the original. Oh. And you want to be, you want to be interesting. Yeah. And you want to be original. And so, uh, do you like the gig? It's fun. It's yeah. totally fun. I love the idea of a return to. Um, a variety of things on television. Mm -hmm. It makes it more interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I, th I think, to, uh, you know, when I was a little boy, there was a show called The Ed Sullivan Show, and that was on uh, Sunday nights, and it was, the, it was the American Idol of its time. And in the course of that hour, you'd have the Beatles to a great comedian to a juggling act to a puppet show. And to me, as a kid, I used to think, boy, that's really interesting. Well, that's more interesting than if every show was about a murder. <laughs> and so uh, I think the return of American Idol and the return of uh, shows like uh, uh, Canada's Got Talent mm -hmm. makes uh, television a, a more varied place and a more interesting place to visit. Well, I think it really brings it down to the average Joe that actually will be sitting on the couch and watching and taking in the show. But what's your take, Martin, on these reality shows? You know, out of nowhere, somebody has skyrocketed to stardom. I mean, you've worked in this business a long, long time and worked hard at it. These people are going to get instant stardom, maybe. Well, there's always been cases, even from the old 30s musicals of instant stardom, you know, the, the, uh, the lead dancer is sick. <laughs> Her understudy's going on. I hope she can make it. And uh, she made it. She's an overnight star. You know, there's always yeah. been those stories. Talent is talent. Mm -hmm. If a talent, you know, talent is, you're never as hot as when you're first hot. Mm -hmm. And then the other challenge is to make it a, a career, not just a, an event that mm -hmm. took place that year. And uh, so someone like Tom Hanks uh, certainly made a huge splash in a film like Splash, <laughs> but it was his immense talent that kept his career continuing, continuing, and Oscars and Oscars. So it was a combination of talent and something else. Mm -hmm. And the talent now that you've seen so far, what's it been like? Have, are you surprised? Oh, um, I think you're always blown away, particularly by the things that you don't know about, whether it's a Bollywood act or whether it's a beatboxer that you just don't know how that's happening, or a magician you don't know what's happening. Or mm -hmm. We've had hypnotists, we've had uh, people who come out and you assume they're gonna sound one way and they blast you. We had a guy come out in jeans and t-shirt and kinda, and then suddenly he was sound like Frank Sinatra. <laughs> um, I think these are all, you know, we're at, a we're at an earlier stage of the contest. Mm -hmm. It's not the first stage, but it's not the last stage. So as it gets, now you have to whittle away. At this stage, we kinda go, if you've got talent or you seem like you could develop something, maybe you've picked the wrong song, maybe you've picked the wrong mm -hmm. outfit or something, uh, hey, you're going to the next round. We can do it. But eventually we're going to have to get there and say, okay, now we have to be brutal. And it's going to get tougher then, I think. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, they call you the triple threat because you won the Emmys, the Grammys, and everything like that. So you really know what it takes. What advice would you give? to people right now. Well, Tony <laughs> award to Tony, Tony, Tony. Right. oh, sorry. Uh, no, don't be silly. <laughs> Advice? Um, I think you just work as hard as you can at it and don't take it personally. And remember, it's just show business. It's not, we're not, there's no climate change solution here. This would be more important if there was. Um, and uh, I think that, uh, yeah, just know that you're doing the best you can and calm down. It's hard not to be nervous, but nerves do go in the way. Oh, yes. Do you still get nervous? No. 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 No, I don't get nervous. I get uh, energized mm -hmm. by it. But um, 
I think nerves, uh, they just, they, they are something to you try to will away because they just, especially if you're, um, if you're playing a nervous person, then they could help you. But if you're playing uh, someone who's, who it's more important to just feel like he's affable and loose, and then you sense he's tense, then you don't, you say, what's, what's wrong with him tonight? So it's, yeah. a, it's a problem, Yeah. And if, so, if it were the case. And so what's new in the horizon for Martin Short after Canada's Got Talent? Uh, there is a new hour special that I've done, which will be on CBC in February, uh, called I, Martin Short, Goes Home. Uh, there's a Tim Burton <laughs> film called Frankenweenie. <laughs> There's another film uh, called Dorothy of Oz. There's another film called Madagascar 3. Oh, great. Uh, I am a, uh, uh, now doing an arc on How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> and what is it? there's something else I'm doing. Oh, and I'm, of course, the voice of Cat in the Hat. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm all over the place. Now, secret of can't success. Can't kill me with a stick. No, you can't. I just want to know when Ed Grimley's coming back. Ed's in that home, and uh, he's in a, the characters who were popular in the 80s for an hour home in New Jersey. He's he has a room next to Joe Piscopo. He's having a very nice rest. <laughs> All right. You can watch Martin Short be the judge on Canada's Got Talent coming up in March. Check him out. And he's if you're going to dress as sharp as you are right now, I'm going to watch, too. Oh, it's going to be a much. fashion uh, fashion off with uh, Misha. Oh, thank you. I, listen, I haven't even dressed yet. i got to get ready for the show. <laughs> Martin Short, check him out. Canada's Got Talent.com. For Shaw TV, I'm Tracy Kogan.